Hello lovely friend, I'm Alice. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so so much for watching. Today I have a very exciting video for me. I'm very happy to be sharing this. So I got this BTS album last year as a present for my sister and I love it so so much. I actually cried when I received it and I was really moved. And so I, I love it a lot but after flipping through the photo book for like I think four times or something I just kind of put it in my closet and now it's just sitting there and was collecting dust and I know that albums are usually like a collectible or just a way to support your favorite artists and your favorite groups but I still wanted to make something with it I think most people they resell their albums or like some people they resell their older albums so they can afford the newer ones but since mine was a present, I know for sure I'm not going to resell it. And so I just wanted to make it even more special. And I had the idea of turning it into a journal, actually. So I was really happy with the idea. And then I, um, I kind of realized that, okay, now we kind of had a, had a problem because I just started Volume 9 in my Travis Notebook. And I know that I want to keep the Travis Notebook going. Like, I'm not going to move away from it. So I usually only have one journal and then one planner and I like for everything to be in one place. So the, my, my journal just has everything. It has happy stuff, sad stuff, then also like super cheesy stuff, just whatever I want to write about. It's all in one place. So the second journal kind of felt redundant and kind of useless to me. Uh, but I, I came up with the idea to just write about people that have really moved me and that have really just grown so so dear to me and because this album is called love yourself it's the love yourself album and i thought it'd be really nice to write about people who just have helped me love myself even more through loving them if that makes sense i think Sometimes people come into your life and they are so full of light and so full of warmth and just they have so much kindness inside of them and um, you you come to appreciate them so so much and I've come to appreciate and love and just be so thankful for their existence to the point where just thinking about certain people have filled me with a lot of love and I... I don't know, it just makes me, it makes me very, it makes my heart feel very warm thinking about them. And I, I don't know if you guys, um, for sure you guys have had this feeling, but sometimes when a loved person does something or like they say something and your only response or your only immediate, I guess, response to whatever they did or whatever they said. It's just you look at them and the only thought you can think at that moment is just, I love you so, so much. And I've had a few of those moments and I think it would be really sweet and really nice to put all those, all those moments and all those tiny thoughts into one place, into one journal. And so that's what I want to plan on doing with this journal. I think it's so, so... I don't know, <laughs> I'm getting very embarrassed and cheesy right now, but I think in life, most of the time when those moments happen, they are very like mundane and just very small things. Like Sometimes it's not something big. Usually they just say something stupid or they crack like a dumb joke. But at that specific moment, you're just so, so full of love for them. And I think that's such a pure and genuine and honest feeling. And I, I really appreciate those things. And... I, I hope to be able to remember those those moments. So I'm really excited to fill this journal with these moments and these things. Uh, you can see that for this first spread that I recorded, I just used the first blank spread. Every spread after that has a picture on it, like a full spread, obviously, since it's a photo book. But for the paper quality, I do want to mention, I don't know if any of you guys are going to try this out because I do know like the photo books are something very treasured and writing in it might seem like destroying it or something. To me, it just adds more value and more worth and more meaning. But um, anyways, I wanted to mention that the paper quality is really nice, but it does have, obviously it does have like this coating on it. And I use the Muji pen to write with it. I think... 
uh, maybe like a micron would be better. I'm not sure. I'm gonna try it out the next time I write in it. But the Muji pen, the Muji pen took forever to dry. It really, I smeared it so many times. It was really bad. I yeah, I would not recommend gel pens on it. I did try the the matte liners as you can see. They did pretty okay. They also took some time to dry. I wanted to try watercolors. That did not work at all. The water is just kind of pooled on the paper, so that's not an option. But um, yeah, I think, or maybe it's just like a ballpoint pen. I think a ballpoint pen would do pretty well. I don't really like ballpoint pens though, so we'll see how that one goes. But it's been really fun. It was so much fun to journal in this, especially since I think this might be a five size, or maybe not. I've got no idea what kind of size this is, but it was really nice to write in it. It was really fun to just play around. I try not to put too much pressure on myself on making it like beautiful and perfect and whatever. I think I put a lot of pressure on myself with the Travis notebook. And so for this one, I just want to have fun, just want to be genuine and record moments that make my heart kind of melt. And so that's what it is. I um, For the following pages, like the after pages, since they will be like full spreads, I will just be writing on it, so there won't be really any decoration in it or anything like that. I'll just write in it. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna film those, because obviously since it's only writing, that would be pretty boring to watch, I think. Um, I'm not sure. I'm gonna try and update you guys on the things that I do in here from time to time, probably on Instagram. We'll see how that goes. But here's a little example of what I mean by only writing. But uh, yeah, let me guys, let me guys, I always say this, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and whether you would do something like that. I don't know, I, I feel like I might get lynched. I hope you guys are not too mad. Uh, but I really enjoyed doing this. It was so much fun. It was nice to have something a little bit different and just to, you know, play around a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys stay well. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hope you stay well. Hope you stay creative. Thank you. Bye.